Vinyl flooring, or lino, is becoming really popular. I think it's because you can have it in such a variety of styles and patterns that you can really personalise your flooring. It's a little bit cheaper than tiles and it's not that difficult to lay. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. First things first, let's clear the area. Don't want anything laying around, and then we're going to give it a good sweep up as well. We need a really flat, flush surface, and that's what this is, so no point in wasting energy taking it up, I'll just go on top. And a little tip, there's no point trying to work around a door, so just take it off and put it to the side. When you're taking a door off, leave one screw in the top. If I was to take all of them off, what's going to happen? Dunk! Okay, and then you do risk either like ripping part of the wood with the hinge or the hinge coming off completely. So just leave one in and take all of the bottom ones out. With one hand support the door, the other hand slowly take it off, just let that drop and then we can take the door away ourselves. Taking the bath panel off allows us to get our liner right underneath, which gives it a much sharper finish. We can now get our vinyl flooring into the bathroom. Now, the type of vinyl flooring you choose is going to vary on how much you want to spend. Go for a thicker one, it should last a little bit longer as well. When you go to the shop to buy this, you take in your measurements of your length and your breadth, add about 100 mil all the way around. Let's lay it out as best as we can. One edge of your lino, that's going to be manufactured cut. So we want to use that. So I can put that against this back wall that I know is square, and then I work back. Now we're going to do a very rough cut along the other sides. So when you come to your first corner, peel it back slightly and just put a cut into the corner. This allows me to push the vinyl in. Use your straight edge to give you a line. And then I'm going to go above what I think I need. When you've got your vinyl, bring it into the house for a couple of hours before you plan on fitting it. Because as it gets warmer, it actually gets more pliable. So this part of it where I'm pushing it into the edge will actually be a bit easier. Probably the most feared thing by people when they're trying to lay their vinyl flooring is things like toilets, pedestals, things you've got to cut round. Pull back your vinyl, okay? And I'm going to push this edge in here tight. Make sure it stays square with your edge. My first cut is going to be straight down. I've stopped a good inch before where we're actually going to finish. Cutting across now allows us to push the vinyl back and then I'll show you how we cut into it. We do cut down into the floor. This will allow us to pull the vinyl edges back and cut in really tight. Oh, and here's a really good tip. Give your toilet a good clean before you do this because you're going to get very up close and personal right now. So now I've reached the doorway. We kind of treat it similar as a corner in that we're going to cut out a triangle going in towards the point of this door. That just allows me now to fold that and again I clearly left myself a good inch and a half there. And just the same as the toilet, we start cutting down into it and this will help us take the shape of the door frame. So we've come through the doorway now and this is where we're going to fit an edging strip. The edging strip just seals the floor, okay, stops anything from coming underneath. So we're going to come here. We're still doing our rough cuts, so I'm just going to cut on the other side of the doorstop. We've gone around all the edges with our rough cuts. I'm actually starting at the back of the room and I'm going for my fine cuts. Now the reason I'm starting from this edge and going up is because that's where the bath panel is. And if you think that bath panel is a good inch and a half, that's going to sit on top of my vinyl. So if there is any movement or I do come up short, let's make sure it happens that end, not this end. To save us marking our skirting board, get a bit of off cut, slide it in behind your vinyl, then do exactly the same process, pushing up with the bolster and then very carefully we go around the edge. Now feel free to do this freehand like I am or if you're not so confident just get the straight edge that I was using earlier. And if you can, if you've got any play, 
try and push it under your skirting board. It'll give you a really nice sharp finish. So repeating that process, I'm just going to work all the way around the room and then I'm going to show you how to silicone it in. We've now done all the fine cuts, so we're ready to stick it down. Now if you were doing a larger area, say like a kitchen, what we would do is put adhesive all over the floor. Now, because it's only a small area and I've got a really nice level surface, I'm actually going to be sticking the edges. I'm just going to repeat that all the way around the room, any edges basically, pushing it all out and then we can silicone it all in. The edging strip. This is the section that just caps off our vinyl flooring and gives us a nice edge to meet our flooring outside. So we go just inside of the door stop to just inside of the other side and I read that as 30 inches or 760 mil. We're now ready for the last part, the silicone seal. And guys, this really is that finishing touch. Take your time with it and we can really get this looking good. Now, spray your part water part washing up liquid over the area. What this does is it creates a greasy film top and bottom that silicone will not be able to stick to either top or bottom now. And you see that's where the tissues come in handy. But it is worth doing this, not only is it a finishing touch, it looks really good. That's it guys, vinyl flooring laid within a few hours. It looks really good. 